Hello and welcome to a packed glass house in Melbourne for one of the highlights of the 1989 NBL season, the Stars match. It's a capacity crowd, players are ready, the crowd is ready, we've had some fabulous pre-game entertainment. All in all, this should be a very, very entertaining match. My pleasure as always to welcome co-commentator Bill Farmer. Bill, this really is the showcase of the league, isn't it? Yes, it certainly is. It's the cream of the NBL here. Uh, many of these players have never played with each other, but you can you can bet with the prize money and pride at stake uh, that will be up for tonight, you can count that they'll be playing hard and they're very excited about it. Well, last year was the first time, so that set the pattern. Last year's game was great. I think the crowd enjoyed it. We've all learned a lot from it, so it augurs for a very good match, doesn't it? Yes, it is. We won't see a terrible lot of defense in this game, what one wouldn't expect, but the, the offense will be very spectacular. The team have only, teams have only trained for an hour together, so where we might expect more pattern play in a regular season game, this will be much more wide open, a lot of fast breaking and a lot of slam dunking. This will be showtime. This is showtime for sure. Look at us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. A little earlier in the week there was a press conference and Dixie Marshall of the Australian Television Network spoke to both of the coaches. There's money online. We're going to try to, you know, I can use some money. You guys have seen the way I'm dressed. I'd treat it seriously if I was playing the B-grade team at the moment. I'd love to beat anybody at this stage of the season. <laughs> While it may have been a dismal season so far for Ken Cole's Newcastle Falcons, he really has little excuse for anything less than success Saturday night. Both coaches admit the North has the weight on paper, but that doesn't worry South coach Bruce Palmer. Our guys are a lot of fun to be around. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, <laughs> You've got some animals there. You've got absolute animals. They've got, a, they've got a better team, but... Uh uh, you just hang tight. We just, yeah, we'll battle along. Palmer is renowned as a deep thinker of the game, so just how will he choose his starting five? I'll start these two because we dress alike. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they'll, Scott and Wayne will definitely start because that's one of the uh, perks of being the coach. You know, you definitely get to, to start your teammates. No doubt Palmer and Cole will start with all seriousness with $10,000 up for grabs Saturday night. And that, of course, was Bruce Palmer and Ken Cole, the two coaches for this Stars game. Let's now have a look at the lineups, and firstly, the Mazda South team. Ten great players. The starting five in the backcourt will be Wayne Carroll of the Giants, Mike Mackay of Adelaide. At forward, Scott Fisher of the Giants, Mark Davis of Adelaide. And, of course, at centre, the slammer, James Crawford. There's the bench, and a pretty handy bench, and the coach is Bruce Barber. How'd you like that bench? Yeah, a lot of coaches would like to be able to bring the standard of the players off there. I think what we'll see in a game like this is that the coaches will go with a five, go with another five, and when it comes down to money time in the last quarter, though, you'll see the players that are performing the best on the floor. Okay, now let's check the Aussie Tapes North team. Once again, ten very, very talented players. The General and Jerry Everett in the backcourt. At forward, Andrew Gaze, at power forward from the NBA, Winston Crite making his first appearance. And big Storm and Norman Taylor from Illawarra at centre. Again, a great bench. And the flamboyant Ken Cole as coach. Yes, well, I think that the uh, North team will be perfectly suited to Ken Cole's type game. They've got a lot, a lot of firepower out there in Gaze and Everett and the rest of them, and they're going to rack up a big score, and they'll be tough to beat. What can we expect from the game, Bill? Well, as I said, I think both coaches will be playing a really full-court game. We'll see defense up the floor because I think turnovers are going to be very important in a high-scoring game like this. The team that gets the most shots up, I think, will be at shooting to 50% will win this one. Okay, well the two referees, very, very experienced officials in Eddie Crouch and Bill Mildenhall. It's the Stars game and the opening tip-off coming up in just a moment. For the start of this Stars game, starting fives as we thought, Bill, referee Eddie Crouch with the ball to start it off. Big crowd in attendance, very much looking forward to this match be a good match. Last year we started with a slam and we nearly got off that way. That's Wayne Carroll with the ball. He's setting up as the point guard, the playman for the uh, South team. So now this is Fisher South in all white and the North team in dark blue and white tops on their singlets. Easy to pick. Dark team is North and in the light white team is the South team. No score. Fisher. Shot has missed. North now with a chance. Outlet pass across to Gaze. Look at the matchups. Mackay now on Gaze. Fisher picking up. Mackay on Smythe. Fisher picking up Gaze. Inside. That'll count. Everett. Yep. First score in the match. 
So Jerry Everett driving to the basket gets the first score in the match. After the ball was out of his hand on the way down, it was blocked away. That's a goal 10. We'll see it on replay. Watch this. Mark Davis going up. The ball reached its apex. was on the way down. So the two points count. Jerry Everett can make a three-point play. He does. And that's the first score. North over south. Three points to nil. This is Carroll to Davis. Crawford down in the corner, about a 15-footer, 16-footer, and the Alabama slammer gets them onto the board for the first time. Fisher almost intercepts the pass. He does, in fact, out over the baseline. North ball on the side with Andrew Gaze. 3-2, to two, North lead. We did predict that there won't be much defense. So both teams are going to race up and down this floor. There'll be some burning uh, pine smells out there, I think, by the time we get to half, to half time. This is Taylor posting up low on Davis. Gaze, long way out, can't take the shot. Smythe to Everett, Kreit inside, Gaze again. Fisher picking up Andrew Gaze, that's an interesting matchup. Oh, Winston Kreit with a three-pointer. No, two-pointer only. Foot must have been on the line, so 5-2 the North team leads. This is Mike Mackay, stolen by Smythe. It's a one-on-two, pulls up, takes the shot, missed, the rebound by Crawford. Big rebound over the top of Norman Taylor. And we're racing up to the other end, Mackay, back to Carroll. Stop and pop off the front, gets his own rebound, up in the air, comes down with the ball. That's a travel violation. So North will get the ball from the side. 5-2, North leads. Interception by Mike Mackay, takes the ball out over the sideline. Mackay picking up Smythe. Carroll now on Everett. Fisher on Gaze. Davis is guarding Taylor. And Kreit is on Carroll. Rebound, big rebound by Kreit, but he pushed him out, going for the rebound, and he crouched quite quick and clear with the call. First foul on Winston Kreit, the former NBA well, player. We'll it's see the rebound. He was, chasing, rebound. he was chasing it pretty well in the air, but uh, had Scott Fisher hooked on the ground. This is Fisher to Crawford, trying to get past Kreit. Shot goes ballistic. Gets up for that jump shot, quicker, higher and faster, I think, than anyone else in the league, Bill. Really has a quick release on those springs. He's got four points in the game, the only one to score for the South team so far. This is North, in the dark. Smythe, the general, looking inside for, who was it, Kreit, but Davis was there, and they double-teamed uh, Winston Kreit, Davis and Crawford, out over the sideline. Five to four, North leads. This is Mark Davis. On his own, he can take the shot. Throws up an air ball. Crawford the jump shot. And he has six, the whole six of the South. So the Alabama Slammers off to a great early start. That's the matchups. He's been click picking up the uh, garbage around the basket. Jerry Everett with a lovely leaping leaner. Follows it in, misses it. Crawford gets the rebound. Everett should have scored there. Mackay, three-pointer off inside Mark Davis, chairman of the board. He's tied up. Mackay, his shot is missed. Rebound Tyler. Tyler across the smile, north on the break. Andrew Gaze, three-pointer off the front of the ring. This time Jerry Everett can't find it. That's his four-star. Taylor is smacked in there by Mark Davis. Palmer up pacing the sidelines already. And of course, these players not playing with their team, but there's a lot of pride out there. And you throw that many good uh, players together, they're all trying to prove who's the who's the best in this this peer type matchup. And this is Norman Taylor in his first season in the NBL, averaging 30 points a game for the first 12 games. He's had a tremendous start to the season with the Illawarra Hawks. He makes them both, so he hits the scoreboard. And a great debut in the league for Storm and Norman Taylor. Now this is Carroll being picked up by Smythe. Now Mackay across to Crawford. The South team's it. cheating there, Graham. They ran a play. <laughs> Inside, Davis. Big basket. Basket will count. He'll draw the foul, and I think it was on Jerry Everett. Three, two. And this will be a three-point play. You'll see it on replay. Davis, good position. Everett from the side. Slaps as uh, Davis brings up the ball. Got armed. Davis, a big, powerful man. Had the strength to keep control of the ball yep. and put it in. So the two points count. And because he was fouled in the act of shooting, he gets a bonus foul go. shot. All-time second in rebounds per game. Mark Davis, hence the nickname, the chairman of the boards. Been an ornament to the game. Great player for the Adelaide 36ers. He's, not a, he's a pretty handy foul shooter. Yeah. One game this year, he went 16 for 16 from the foul line. Smythe inside to Gaze was lovely. Smythe picks up the assist. Andrew Gaze. 
scores the scores level it's 9 each 8 minutes 34 left in this first period and Andrew Gaze commits the foul Scott Fisher was driving down through the lane got his head and shoulders passed and team foul situations 3 to the north team 2 to the south team so this will be a south side ball that's a very interesting matchup Andrew Gaze and Scott Fisher Fisher obviously having the power out there Andrew Gaze newly into a defensive role out there after his stint in America Davis off glass Great play from Mark Davis. Here go North again. Mackay picking up Smythe. Kreit set a screen. In with Gaze now to Kreit. Ball slipped away by Mike Ellis. A quick substitution on the North side. This is Crawford. Foul. Going to the basket. Driving down the keyway. Foul on Phil Smythe. His first sends Crawford to the line. So Wayne Carroll to the bench. And in fact now also I think uh, we see Wayne McDaniel ready to come in. And he'll replace Mark Davis. So the South team make their first two subs. Look at that career total for James Crawford. Averaging 28 in his career. This year he's averaging 30.7. So he just keeps getting better and better. Two shots here. Fouled in the act of shooting. He makes the first one. A foul shot of course counts one point. Over 5,700 points in the NBL. Second only to Leroy Loggins. James Crawford makes them both and he has eight points out of the south team's 13 they've slipped away now to lead by four 13 to nine south in front 756 left in this first period the north team just bunching up a little bit too much and allows double teams like that as crawford slaps the ball away mike ellis to mcdaniels this is his first touch oh what is by winston cried <laughs> it's called a goaltend it was a very near thing that two points counts it was a huge block. That ball had reached Bill the apex of its what ballistic it? trajectory. <laughs> yes, that was it. <laughs> On the way down when it was slapped away. Spectacular to watch, but the two count. 15 to 9, south away by 6. Foul on James Crawford. You can hear referee Eddie Crouch adjudicating that one. You're hanging on to him. Leroy Loggins now checking into the North team for the first time. Both coaches undoubtedly will clear their bench in the first quarter, find out who's come to play. Quite inside, over the top of Crawford. Nice, nice touch. Uh, Joyce on also as Mike Mackay sits down on the South team. North won this first uh, corresponding match last year. The inaugural All-Star match, Crawford. Brilliant. Against a lot of opposition and heavy traffic, and he's the first player in the match into double figures. He had a quiet scoring game in the All-Star last year. Well, he started, year. he started with five slams in the first quarter, and uh, I think he uh, outdid himself and tailored off a little bit after that. Kicks the ball out of bounds that time, so the North team will get the ball from the side and a new shot clock because the, uh, the shot itself resets that shot clock. 30 seconds to shoot. Right at the top of the key, uncontested. Winston Crite now with six points. Been a handy player for the Brisbane Bullets this year in his first season. Scott Fisher working hard on gaze, but dishes back out. McDaniel pulls up, shot. Yes. What they'll do a lot in this game is clear sides and allow players to use their one-on-one -on -one skill. As I said, there won't be much pattern out there. Storm and Norman, I think that's a goal 10-2. Crawford with his head up there by the ring, but tipped the ball as it was on the way down. So we've seen almost as many goaltended baskets as made baskets. Smythe and Norman Taylor go to the bench for the North team. Timeout, and timeout has been called by the North team exactly halfway through this first period. Mazda South team lead the Aussie Tapes North team 19 to 14. Six minutes and 31 seconds remaining to play in the first quarter, 19 to 15 a fairly handy score already well I think most people looking at the lineup of the two teams thought that the North team would uh, would prevail I know it's very very early of course but South have come out mainly through James Crawford with 10 big points but South have come out taking it right up to the North team and have a, a handy four-point lead well, I think the problem there of course Andrew Gaze and Jerry Everett two of their leading scorers haven't really got into the action yet and uh, Michael Johnson has hit the floor and Bill Smythe has a score but uh, these players will warm up as the game goes longer Atkinson now in for the North team and as well as Keo. so both coaches making plenty of substitutions Fisher now on Gaze triple team Ellis drive dish nicely done basket is in missed another rebound by McDaniel that shot is missed 
finally tipped in by big Bruce Bolden who's come on for the South team. So he's only just been straight on the court and gets a tip in basket. That's right, we, we thought perhaps the North team would have more strength around the basket. It's not proving so, so far. Nice pass from Gaines to Atkinson. That's an assist to Andrew Gaines. Memory Atkinson into the game for the first time. Instantly gets on the scoreboard. Here we see the assist pass. Atkinson slipped behind his man going to the basket. And he was fouled in the act of shooting, so he'll get a bonus foul shot. Some foul on Bruce Bolden, who gets the rebound to Atone. Brendan Joyce, the playmaker. Point guard for the Westside Melbourne Saints, a veteran of the league. Now McDaniel, inside, Fisher. And foul by Andrew Gaze. That's his second. You'll see, as we have all year, Andrew Gaze with the defensive role that he has now picked up, getting a lot more fouls, but it's a new dimension to his game, and it's really made him even more of a complete player, Bill. It certainly has, but Andrew has to think about his scoring ability, too, because teams that he played for expect him to get those 30 points a game, so when he gets to two fouls, he, start, he has to start going a little bit more conservative. Substitutions. Pretty hard to be conservative when you're guarding Scott Fisher, though. I mean, <laughs> give, him go for yeah, give him an inch, he's gone. Shooting one and one. This is Fisher on the line with one and one. What a huge season he's having. Scott Fisher leads the league in points per game at 34.6. He's got a 28 points per game all-time average over his three seasons. He's played 44 minutes a game this year. He's done it all, about 12 rebounds as well. Player of the month in the first month of the season. Picked up a whole bunch of MVPs as he goes to the bench now, replaced back by Mark Davis, and Fisher made them both. And adding insult to injury, the big man won the three-point shootout I tonight. Sure did. <laughs> Dean Utoff into the game for the first time. That's Utoff with the ball off the front of the ring. McDaniels cleans up. So the South team flows back into attack. Well, perhaps not flowing, stuttered into attack a little bit. It's their biggest lead, Bill, six points. I think we'll see the leads go up and down. McDaniel inside. It's blocked by Atkinson. Gaze with the rebound. Spins around Bolden. Three on two. Dishes to Utah. Bit too close to pass him the ball. Utah had no chance to catch that one. Uh, Joyce now. Joyce and Ellis. Very, very experienced backcourt guards for the South team. And up front, Davis, Bolden, and McDaniel. Shot is in from Mark Davis. Chairman of the boards now picks up seven valuable early points. We've got four minutes 50 left in this first period. Margin 25 to 17, it's eight to the South team as Gaze launches one. Missed, rebound by McDaniel. Here's a chance for Davis, the first slam. No, he eases it in. <laughs> the crowd give him a bit of a raspberry on that. They wanted to see the big man to slam. <laughs> Interesting matchup, Joyce on Keel. They both started uh, their NBL career together in the same club. Uh, that's not a warning who's become Eastside Melbourne. <laughs> the call from Bill Millenor was easy, you two. Ellis and Loggins. Ellis is playing tough defense. Gaze missed. And, and from Bruce, behind, Bruce Bolden is picked up, I Side. think, his second foul. That yep. was five Next white line. for pushing the back. And Side in ball. the back of, I think, is Utah. There's Ken Cole, the Newcastle coach, and, of course, Aussie North coach. One and one. As he substitutes one and one. Andrew Gaze out and brings in his club sharpshooter, Michael Johnson. One and one, you've got Dean him, Utah man. going to the line. It wasn't a shooting foul, but they're in the team penalty situation. The South team with five team fouls. So Utah has the one and one. He's made the first one, so he gets the second one. Best known, of course, the big fellow for his awesome rebounding power. He's averaged all-time career 18 rebounds a game. Now here's Ellis on the break. Almost stolen by Atkinson. Feeds off. McDaniel. Nice shot. There was plenty of pressure there. Utah was cocked for the big outlet pass. It wasn't on. Leroy pulls up with the jumper. Missed. And South get the ball. Four minutes left first period. Joyce on the break. Dishes. Out to Bolden. Yes, South on fire at the moment. 31 to 18. They led by two, now by 13. Hold it, a lovely shot, his elbow right in the line with the basket, and the North team better get a move on now. Atkinson. Oh, he misses nearly air ball. Johnson with his first touch puts it in. They need all the points they can get. South team somewhat relentlessly just pushing the ball up the court every time. North struggling a little bit to get back and find alignment on a man. It's almost like watching North Melbourne, isn't it? The Bruce Palmer 
influences really on that North team at the moment. Well, that's a turnover, and they need more turnovers. Keo with the ball. That's Johnson, three-pointer, can't find it. Loggins can't handle the rebound, saves it. Kicks it out to Johnson. He'll set up again. Keo with the three-pointer. North team blazing away. South playing a lot more efficiency. Joyce with the ball. Oh, a pass to nobody. Lux luckily hits Mark Davis. 2.52 left. Vera Babes on the sidelines. Nine and now Mike left. Johnson. Ball is loose. Shaken out again. Here's a chance. This will be a dunk. No. Oh, Damien Keogh. Stripped the ball away at the last moment. And uh, the crowd don't like that. <laughs> we thought it would be our first dunk. He you was see off Keogh too. coming in from the side. Oh, he got a healthy bit of the arm too, I think. Sorry. Substitution. Brendan Joyce, who's done very well goes to the bench and Shane Hill last year's NBL Rookie of the Year comes on and gets his first touch <laughs> where are you going players not quite sure at the moment but we'll see a bit of that of course well the North team really needs to find a focal point on offense they need somebody to string a three or four baskets together so that they get some momentum Utah guarding Bolden Shane Hill into the lineup for the first time misses his first shot Utah says give me that three on two they're bunched poorly Atkinson hey! A long way out. Look at the power slam. Shane Hill said, get me out of here. Now it's living up. Johnson back out to Keo. Atkinson with a monster slam. Yes. It's a block. It's a block by Don't Wayne Carroll as Leroy Loggins was driving and shooting. What a slam from Atkinson. That was unbelievable. I mean, we may have just seen the slam of the game. That's worth $500 to Emory Atkinson if it is. And that was tough. Shane Hill, he looked like the roof was falling in on him. <laughs> Here's leaping Leroy Loggins, the most decorated player in the NBL. One. The All-Stars All-Star. Loggins with 6,000 plus points at 26 per game, I might add, spread over 230 games. Anyway, back to action. Heel out, Carroll, three-point shot, missed, rebound by the South team. I'd say they've rebounded better, Bill. They certainly have, and uh, they've been establishing very good position, and I think that they've shown a bit more patience with the ball. Crawford from the top of the keys, Yuli Acker from there, Utah, another give me that rebound. He's fouled by the chairman of the board, Mark Davis. They've got an interesting battle at the top of the league all-time ladder. Davis and Utah, probably two of the finest rebounders, certainly two of the finest rebounders ever played in the NBL. You watch this. Utah says, that's mine. Davis says, I want that board. <laughs> 147 left first period. 35-23 to South team. Quickly out to a 12-point lead. Look at Utah's career. 17.4 points per game but 18 rebounds a game. Atkinson nearly with a slam tip in. Not quite as good as the first one, but that would have been impressive as well. Lob pass, Bolin inside. He's fouled by Utah on the body. The two points account. Gee, South doing it all at the moment, Bill. Bruce Bolden with six points in the game. A minute 36 to remain to play in the first quarter. And <laughs> the South team has 37 points. What do we expect? About 140 know, each or so at the end? Multiply that by four and you get awesome numbers. Bruce Bolden. He's got 23 points per game, too. All-time career. Keogh. Long shot. Missed. Rebound by Michael Johnson. Top of the key. Yes. North needs some shooting, and Johnson can do it. He is a pure shooter. He's very quick up into his jump shot, too. With really excellent range. Bruce Bolden a long way out. Loggins can't buy it. Comes out to Utah. He's caught to throw that touchdown pass, but nothing there. The North team needs a bit of patience. That's a little bit of patience. There were at least two passes, but Johnson misses it. Utah it, into the back of Bruce Bolden. <laughs> that was the long and the short of it. Bill Mildenhall looking up at Newdorf and said, you pushed him, but Dean smiled and said, I think I did. Timeout has been called with 64 seconds left in the first period and a 13-point break to South Team, 38 to 25. I think the point for the uh, North Team now, I think they're being much too impatient in their offense, Graham. 
They need to come up, come down the court, share the ball around a little bit, let everybody feel like they're getting into the flow of the game. At the moment, there's two guys usually playing basketball, the other three guys are spectating. So that's very important, share the ball around. I think they're bunching up a bit too much as well. They need to give themselves some room to operate in what will be a, basically a one-on-one -on -one game. That's Ken Cole in the huddle. Now, Bruce Palmer seems to have the South team's offense a little smoother. E equals MC squared. Yeah. <laughs> right. Think of the number you first thought of. Got it? Got it? <laughs> Check. Check. <laughs> Nod your head. <laughs> Read my lips. <laughs> well, very important, he was talking about spacing too, Graham. Yeah. The idea is give yourself some room to operate because your pattern's not going to get you much offense but your one-on-one -on -one stuff sure is. Play the triangle. We've got time back in. Bruce Bolden was fouled at the other end of the floor. We'll walk the 94 feet to the foul line and shoot the one-on-one -on -one situation. 17 fouls apiece for both teams, so a bit of fouling going on. Obviously, again, that's a bit of, that's a bit of misunderstanding I think, between teams. In career average, 23.1. He's bettering it this year in 89. 24.6 and great shooting percentages too 54 plus all time very good from the field anything over 50 yeah. percent is really excellent shooting that means every time every other time you come down you're firing one in so now in this match a total of nine points to big bruce bolden from west side minute to go every single player all 20 have had a bit of court time so far in this first period that's Atkinson, Utoff, one of the best passing centers. There's an example. Oh, oh! A slam attempt by Atkinson and blocked by Crawford. Fisher. Oh, shot is off. Rebound by Logan. 41 seconds to go. Who's got it? South team. This Give it to Crawford. This will be a slam. Yes! Alabama slammer cuts loose. South lead by 17. Crawford now with 12 in the game. So he's done his trick, Loggins inside up where nowhere to go, passes into Utah. That was a nice play by Dean Utah. Simple screen and roll play. He's fouled by Fisher, so the two points will count, and Utah will get a bonus foul shot. You see inside, keeping the ball away from Fisher. You see Fisher just reaching in a little bit, enough, enough to draw the whistle. Utah now with three points in the game, chance to make it four, he doesn't. Crawford climbs for that rebound, and South will go back into attack. Settling it down, 17 seconds on the clock, so they'll work for the last shot. Probably run the shot clock down to about eight or seven seconds before they take that shot. It's at eight seconds now, boys. They better hurry. Who's going to take it? Bolden. It's a raffle. Three seconds. Bolden. You jumped in. Can't find it. And that'll complete the end of the first quarter. With the Memphis South team leading the North Aussie Tape team 42 to 27. The South team, the least favored team in this contest, uh, showing the North team what it's all about at the moment. Comfortably leading by 15 points. If we project this out, it means that the South team at this rate is going to score 168 points in the game. I don't think that'll happen, but it'll be it'll pretty spectacular if it did. And it'll take some beating. Phil Smythe controls the ball for the North team, operating with Michael Johnson in the backcourt. Andrew Gaze in, so they've got some firepower in with both Gaze and Johnson in the lineup. That's Pryde working on Crawford. He'll put that off glass, doesn't find it. Andrew Gaze follows up. He's in there for a long time, and I don't think we're going to see too many three-point or three-second uh, calls tonight. You're not going to see any 30-second calls at all, that's for sure. Carroll saves the ball, works inside, hits first two points of the game, the captain of the North Melbourne team. Four, four points now to Carroll. Ball slapped eight, so it's going to be a North ball, 44-29, south by 15. The North coaching staff looking a bit pensive at the moment, <laughs> wondering what's hit them. It's hit them as a bundle of baskets, that's for sure. Yeah, everyone's on the board, Crite by Crawford, just short. You can see the spacing under there, Crite, Gaze, Utah all together, Michael Johnson backed out at the last minute. And that's been their biggest problem. They aren't giving themselves enough room to operate. Utah down low. Calls for it. Some perimeter passing from off at the moment. Smythe. Inside. Utah. Travel. 
Travel, one step too many. Just that instead of the two count, it went one, two, three. <laughs> So Fisher with the ball, he's been quiet, but he drives on Gage, dishes it back, Utah, cocked and ready to throw it. North teammates not ready for that pass. Gage dishes off to Pike, can't find the handle, heel with the ball, shuffles it off to Crawford. Oh, he goes for a slam from a long way out. There's the big pass, intercepted. Another touchdown pass. Wayne <laughs> McDaniel says settle it down and then immediately throws a pass for a lead. And Fisher was there all on his own for a long time, so the defense broke down. We're going to see a fair bit of that too. 46-29. South out by 17. Gaze, three-point shot. Yes! He didn't need that much time down in the corner. He doesn't need much time and he doesn't need much space. Wayne Carroll dishing inside to Crawford. Works on Utah over the top. Can't find it, Utah. Eventually gets that rebound. There's another one of those passes. The game three-pointer can't find it. Crawford third at the other end, and away we go. They're racing. <laughs> Fisher looking on Gaze. He likes to go to that baseline side. Scott Fisher right with the rebound. North just momentum a little bit bad, better, but they're turning the ball over much too many times, getting possession of the ball, and then losing it again before they get a shot up. Yeah, South team getting back on defense well to cut out those passes. This is Fisher who's been quiet from a scoring point of view. Crawford hasn't. And that's point number 14 for the Alabama Slammer. Now, North need to get some scoring going and quickly. 48-32. Margin is 16. This is Michael Johnson. Smy, three-point shot. Yes. No, two only. Must have had foot on the line. No, I think they've counted a three. Wayne Carroll at the other end finds some space. Six basket for basket at both ends. Gaze probing. The North team needs to find a focal point. That's as good as any. Andrew Gaze missed that layup. Asked for the foul. It's not there. Being healed now. Cross court to Crawford. 14 in the game. Crawford can't get by Utah, so he says I'll go over the top. And he sticks his 16th point. 52-35, biggest margin in the game, I think now 17. 15 at the end of the first period. North hasn't had many offensive targets. Wayne Carroll moves Andrew Gaze out for that rebound. It's collected by Heal. Fisher behind the three-point line. He showed us in the three-point shootout. He likes that shot. Scott yes. Fisher clearly behind the line. Swish. All net. 8.14 left in the second period and a timely call by the Aussie Tapes North coach, Ken Cole. He needs a timeout. And we see the scoreline, a 20-point break to the South team, 55 to 35. Find the, the, the retro rockets a little bit and get back into the game and make it a better contest for the crowd. There'll be plenty of spectacular basketball. Of course, the fans like a close game too. Hi, this is that right off the North team, there's a lot of talent there, but South doing it well at the moment by 20. This is Gaze, work, being worked on very hard by Scott Fisher. He's getting no rest at all, Andrew Gaze. Smythe probing, three-point shot. Missed and the tap rebound goes to... Who was that there? Right, that was Cry and Ty finally gets the point. Here's a chance. Oh, South ball, Damien Keogh. Tried to get the steal, but couldn't. Mike McKay with the ball, dishes to McDaniel, floats it up over the top. That was an easy basket. McDaniel now with eight, and South really is finding baskets anywhere they look, go looking for them. Yes, there's lots of gaps in the defense down there. North not quite getting it together at either end yet. This is Winston Pride. Ah, that's a push. That's a pushy on Bruce Cole. He says, are you kidding? Yep. But I think Pride had got by. At least at least got head and shoulders by. Let's watch. Good angle there. You can yeah. see him stepping up and into it. By great camera work from that angle. Clear foul. It's only the first foul on the Mazda South team, so we won't see any foul shots. Two coaches looking on as Mark Davis checks back in. Winston Crichton misses. Rebound to Ellis. Back into the game for South. Out to Bolden. About a 16-17 footer. Foul. In the act of shooting by Kreitz, the basket will count in a three-point point play. No, not a three-point play. The foul, foul was after the, after the shot, I think, because there's the yeah. ball out of his hand, and then there's the slap, pretty near thing. Thought he might have got a three-point play out of that. 7-14 left before half-time. 
Wright really playing a long way away from the basket. Gaze can't find it. It's a poor handoff by which to try. There's better spacing for North now. This looks promising as Gaze probes to the basket, pushes off, can't find it, but Taylor can't. Boy, does he take up some room under there too. Storm and Norman. 59-39, still south by 20. Fadeaway jump shot by McDaniel is good. And it's a catch up by the North team at the moment. McDaniel now has 10 for the South team. Well, they aren't catching up very well at the moment. Just they've got to play some defense and they still need to find somebody who's going to go out there and string a few baskets together. Taylor uses his body but can't find the basket, but it's tipped out of bounds by Bruce Bowles. So both North will get the ball from the side. North team going for a bit more firepower out there, putting Jerry Everett on the floor, replacing uh, Winston Christ. So we see a, a relatively small team from the north now with uh, Smythe, Keo, Everett, essentially guards and Gaze who wanders between guard and forward. Keo drives to the basket, can't find it. Crawford with another rebound. He probably has been the most consistent player so far in this game. Dishes off Mike McKay. Yes, it's a three-pointer. Yes, McKay's just checked back into the game and so has Crawford. They both combined there. Crawford the assist. Mackay the three-pointer, 64-39. North now through Keo, in underneath to Everett, who gets his fifth point in the match. But South quickly setting up again. They look a little faster, Bill, don't they? Up and down the court. Yes, they seem a much better balanced side. That's Davis. He can't put. Yes, he does. Everett tries to swipe it off the ring, but it just bobbles its way in. Margin is 25 points. South. Lost, of course, the first game last year. They'd be keen to make amends. Certainly are at the moment. Crawford, another rebound. On the break, South. No, they'll set up. Davis, a three-point shot. No. Tip-in attempt by Ellis Mist. Now a chance for North. Keogh now coming down the middle. Dishes off nicely to Andrew Gaze, and he gets the score. For Gaze, now nine points in the game. He's the leading scorer for the North Stars. Ray McDaniels, he thought that looked good, but he didn't buy it. Smythe, North again with a chance to start chipping away at this lead. They really have made a consistent run at the South team. That's another missed shot. No offense there. Nobody, no sharing, the Nobody sharing the ball around. It's very unlikely. Proper. Oh, biggie. That is a coast-to-coast -coast slam dunk. Over some opposition, too. <laughs> Not much. I don't think Crawford could see anybody that high in the air. Altitude problems from Crawford. Score at the other end by Taylor. Taylor. I don't know if Crawford probably <laughs> needed oxygen to come down there. He's turning a bit blue after that one. Crawford inside to Davis. And again, we see the South team teaming together much better than the North team. They're looking for each other. They're spreading out. They're giving each other room to operate. And really, that's a lesson. If the North team could sit down and watch a replay or two, they probably could see why the South team has this very commanding 23-point lead. 4.29 left, second period. And we find McDaniel out, replaced by Brendan Joyce for South. Smythe to Gaze. Inside, well done by Andrew Gaze that time. 11 points to Gaze, he's the leading scorer for the North team. That'll be a foul on Jerry Everett. Three, two. Second foul on Everett. Only the second team foul. First team foul on the north, so we don't see the penalty situation. Davis with the ball inside, dishes to Crawford. Crawford with 20 points, and we've got four minutes to go before halftime. Keo Everett, good jumper. Yes, over the top of Mark Davis. Jerry Everett's a scoring machine. He gets going. Well, he and Gaze really need to start firing. Phil Smythe needs to punctuate it with some three-pointers. Ellis, as he's so good at doing, Finding that open freeway down the middle of the lane. Again, no defensive rotation, very little understanding in an all-star team. And uh, once he got by his man, it was freewheeling. This is Taylor, bounces it off his foot, his own foot. And so south ball. 3.30 left before half time. 72 to 72 to the south team. 49 to the north. Foul over the back by Andrew Gaze. Andrew Gaze is his third. Reaching and leaning in. And it will be a south side ball. In the backcourt, they've got Ellis and Joyce. The backcourt for the north team is Keo and Smythe. So pretty evenly matched. 
Well, they look evenly matched until you look at the scoreboard. Yeah. <laughs> Mackay, Jump hooker from sure. Mackay, that was presumptuous, but he knew his teammate Mark Davis was looking around there uncharacteristically. Davis should be eats a shot like that. Keo off to Everett behind the three-point line, head fake up and out. <laughs> rebound by Mackay. No North rebounders at all. Mackay from pulls up from the top, barrels it out, and North get another rebound. Well, South can afford to play like this. North can't Andrew Gaze, they need this, and he hits it. Three-pointer, 14 points in the game to game. Yes, his feet very clearly outside, the margin all of a sudden back to 20, so North making slowly an impact on this big lead the South team have. Crawford! Oh, went baseline, did it so well, 22 points. He's putting on a clinic at the moment, Crawford. This is a tremendous baseline. Look at, he's behind the basket, flips it up with his left hand as he reaches around the bottom of the backboard. Athleticism personified. Everett, high oh. looper, oh, gets yeah. the air behind that. Derrick. Steal again by Keo. He'll take the shot, a three-pointer. Bad luck it didn't go in, it was a good steal. Hit the support. It's hit the top, White over ball. the top, and running down the back. And of course, that's, that's a now south ball on the sideline. The applause. Every time the North team gets a turnover, they have to score if they're going to get back into the game. 20 points of difference, South leading 74 to 54. Fisher back in for Crawford. Loggins in for the North team, the money man. They're going to have to go to Leroy for that renowned scoring ability. Henry Atkinson, we saw him with a great slam in the first quarter. It's going to be close voting between he and Crawford. Davis inside. Too strong, aren't they? Two or three times. Strong they get more players there. The big men can go outside. Ellis pinches that one. And the North team gets it back. A couple of mistakes in a row there. Smythe trying to set him up. No pattern to go to, of course, but uh, Andrew Gaze, we can see the one-on-one. -on -one. He tries to lever his way past Brendan Joyce. Joyce let uh, Gaze get his head and shoulders past him, picked up a body shot. Well, for the North team, their leading score at the moment is... Gaze with 14, then we find Atkinson has 10, Crawford's got 22 for the South team. And Mark Davis 15. Jerry Everett, that was a one tough shot. Yep, it's in, he, he was, was fouled on a three point play. He was fouled on one side of the basket, floated by through the contact, and flipped up the ball from the other side. Gary, shooting one is on you. No, 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 no. Foul Mike, on Ellis. Mike Ellis. Mike Ellis. Yeah, Mike Mackay says it wasn't me. Jerry Everett, 28.6 points per game, career. Super shooting effort, 31 points per game this year. But now the margin, 19. Foul is on Everett. 3-2. That's his third foul. Good refing so far too, isn't it, from uh, Bill Mildred Hall and Eddie Crouch. Yes, there's no question about this. We see Ellis again looking for the green pastures inside. He gave Everett a bit of shove there with his hand as well. Refereeing in this game, you want the, the people to come out to see the players and play their skills, and there's, it's not going to be a dour struggle by any means. Mike Mackay. Assist from Joyce, Mackay a two-pointer. Margin is now 31. Oh, that's taken away from Everett. No, 21. You got my maths again. You and your arithmetic, really. We see Where's Everett the calculator? Maybe the side, the ball stripped away. Oh, a little... Put in mouth. Little Kung Fu there, <laughs> obviously unintentional as he was lost his balance. Smythe fishing Atkinson, this looks promising. Three-pointer from Andrew Gaze, it goes. He was right in front of us, one more seat, we could have had him as a guest commentator. 78-60, now I can work that one out, that's 18. North are getting back into this, 50 seconds left before half time. Ellis's three-point attempt was blocked and he held on to Everett on the way down. <laughs> Wasn't seen, so South have a chance. Mackay all the way. Back out, Fisher a three-pointer. Air ball. Someone must have got a hand to it. Justice there because clearly Everett was fouled. Logan, he can't find it. I think some of the North players can fall out of the boat and not hit the water at the moment. One last shot for South. 22 seconds left. Shot clock and game clock pretty much identical. 15 seconds to go. They'll run it down to seven seconds if they've got a last second play. I doubt that they do. They'll just get it in somebody's hand and go one on one. That's a 10 second warning buzzer. Joyce still with the ball in his hand. Can't find it. Atkinson, three, two, one. 
No, that won't count. Just no basket. No basket. Crowd don't like it, nor does Jerry Everett, but it was definitely after the siren. It's an 18 point margin at half time. The Mazda South team lead the Aussie Tates North team at the Glass House 78 to 60. And where it's half time in the 1989 Stars game. Somewhat of a surprise, but a very, very convincing 18 point lead at this stage to the Mazda South team over the Aussie Tapes North team, and the score is 78 to 60. Well, we've seen some great three pointers so far in this game. We've seen some great play in this game, some dunks, etc. But as far as the three pointers are concerned, in the pre match entertainment, we had the three point shootout, and the winner was Scott Fisher, and there he is with that last shot. He goes way back behind the three point line for the last one. He has a very, very good score in it, in fact. They go five times around the edge of the three-point line. When he finally does get back behind the line, a very, very happy player indeed, Scott Fisher of the North Melbourne Giants, playing, of course, in this match in the South team, and he was the winner of the $500 long-distance three-point shootout. Speaking of three-pointers, brings us to another very popular segment in our NBL basketball program, and that's the Nike Notebook. Another page from the Nike NBL Notebook. The three-point shot. Three points are awarded to a player who scores a basket outside the 22-foot arc. One of the leading exponents is Andrew Gaze, whose pinpoint accuracy and patience solved Seton Hall's outside shooting problem. And from now on, it's bombs away from three-point land. Another page from the Nike NBL Notebook. So, plenty of three-point action, both throughout the season and, of course, in this Stars match here at the Glass House. Well, although three-pointers are very, very good from a scoring point of view, there's nothing from an excitement point of view, especially from the crowd, and that's the slam dunk. Let's now have a look at the Mazda slam dunks. Sydney's Mark Ridland has featured in our Mazda slams of late, this one against North Melbourne. Excellent penetration by Steve Carvino. Dishes off, spots Ridland in by his man, rams it home. Each had kept it alive to control. Up Kessler to against again. the Geelong Supercats, Ooh. seven feet tall. Willie Simmons lets one Willie go. Simmons, up to Simmons again. Boom. All game. In the same game, Emery Atkinson, a power dunk. Emery Atkinson. We might see that one again somewhere. Looking left all the time and running Dufelmeyer. Emery Atkinson. An alley -oop pass can bring off some of the best slam dunks you'll ever see. Winston cried off a Darren Perry assist for the dunk against the Westside Melbourne Saints. And Winston Cried finishes it off in great style. And the good thing is they concentrated on the defense after that. Watch that jam. Keep watching for the Mazda slams each week and at the end of the season you could become the lucky owner of this magnificent Mazda 626 estate wagon. At the end of the season, NBL general manager Bill Palmer will select his best slams in the order of one to six. And if your entry should correspond, this great car could be yours. A great competition and in fact a great prize, the Mazda Slam of the Year. Some tremendous slams already in the first half of this Stars match. One in particular comes to mind, and that was Emery Atkinson in the first period, but then two or three big slam dunks also from James Crawford. Half time, South team by 18. We'll be back with third quarter action after this break. Third quarter here in the Stars match. All of the coaches in attendance, and there's the Sydney Kings head coach, Bob Turner. Yes, they're having their, their second uh, coaches meeting for the year. Here's uh, Lindsay Gaze, the coach of the Melbourne Tigers, up there with his wife, Margaret. A lot of interested spectators. I hope there are no checkbooks out here at this game. <laughs> okay, back to Stars action. Teams have changed ends. Carroll, big three-point shot. Way back behind the line, so the South pick up in the second half where they left off in the first. Potent offense. It'll be interesting to see if uh, North makes some adjustments to their game. As we've said before, it's difficult in an all-star contest. But let's see if they get better spacing. That's a lot better to start off with. Nobody got in each other's way that time. As Emery Atkinson scores his six points. Starting fives. Back on. Fisher. Oh, 
big hands coming from everywhere. Foul is either on Everett or on Atkinson, probably yeah, Atkinson. You go ahead with that one first. Yeah. Will you go with first? No, I just have one. That was 32. No, hands. foul is on Everett. Two. And he's uh, looked up in pa momentary panic. Of course, that would have been his fourth foul if it was on him. It wasn't. It was picked out on Jerry Everett. And he's got four fouls. String not quite right on the net is now. They've been burning like those nets up. <laughs> yeah. They're well and, well and truly singed. Gee, 81 points. Two, two, two shots. Scott Fisher on the line. We've seen those nets. But look at the shooting percentage. 54%. Both this year and Korea. Fisher this year with just under 35 points per game. Hasn't done that yet in the Stars match. But still a half to go. So Scott Fisher now moves to nine. Very rarely in a Stars game, though, will one player dominate it because there's enough talent out there. They all like to get a piece. Well, at this stage, it is being dominated by Crawford with 22. Atkinson with the ball working over the top of Crawford. Shot puts it in, but the following follow shot comes from Jerry Evans. Carroll with the ball setting up the offense, such as it is. <laughs> Not too many signals out there, are there? Carroll working on Loggins. Leroy Loggins very quiet so far in this game. He's the sort of player that gets rolling and help him. Crawford drives baseline from behind the backboard. Can't find it. Efficient clean up for him. Bringing up his 11th point. Now North back into offense. Loggins being forced wide out. Defense by Mackay. Gives it to Everett. Everett working inside on Carroll. And the shot is in. So now Jerry Everett with 16 points. Newcastle shoot charter. Shoot charter? Sh no, shoot charter. A shoot charter. He's probably that too. He As does well. it all up in Newcastle. So he's starting to get uh, offensively going. So a south. This is Crawford. No, pass intercepted by Loggins. North now on the roll. Three on two. Who goes? Inside. Atkinson. Oh, and they turn it over. Leroy Loggins probably better advised to pull up at the foul line that time and give some room for the dish off pass as it was. He went in too far. North team squandering what uh, chances they have. Carroll tries to dish inside to Crawford. It's tipped away by Emery Atkinson. So the South okay. team will get the ball from the side and they're leading by 19 points. 85-66. Just a bit over two minutes of play gone in this third period. Underneath, Mackay, lovely pass by Wayne Carroll. Once again, that defense just fell away a little. Mike Mackay able to just sit in under the basket and get pretty much an uncontested pass. Loggins shot, missed attempted tip in by Loggins himself. He chases up and gets it again. Behind the back flick, inside Atkinson. Oh, he was going for the jam. He certainly was. Mark Davis yeah. said, well, you got to earn it, son. <laughs> He was jammed out. Third personal foul. Mark Davis now with three fouls in the game. The adrenaline was going with Atkinson, then, wasn't it? The eyes were going like pinball machines. Where's the basket? He was taking off a long way away. Everything was tough there. You look at that shooting percentage for Emory Atkinson. You look at uh, lifetime career shooting, 57%. Andrew Gaines gets the ball out of nowhere, makes a lot out of nothing. Brings up his 19th point. Margin to 18, here they go again, Gaines on the break. Andrew Gaines now with another two points, has got 21 to be by far and away the North team high scorer and just a point or two behind James Crawford as match high scorer. Interesting for the North team, it's the guards that are dominators, the smaller players. For the North, for the South team, it's the big players that are dominating. Atkinson doing a bit of a yo-yo with the ball. Loggins fouled by Carroll. Loggins just can't seem to quite get into the game. He's out of, out of sorts, isn't he, Leroy? Placed in by... Who's come in for the North team? No, Loggins still there. I thought he'd gone to the bench. Carroll, in fact, goes to the bench, replaced by Ellis, and Loggins stays on for North. They lose the ball, do they? No, Everett. Nice move. Spin move. Finally found the handle on it. Yes, well, it was the, the bobbled pass actually got him open that time. 
Davis inside. Atkinson guarding him. Davis says, I'm going to get in there by hook or by crook and forces one in. That was strong basketball. Top flight from Davis. 17 points to Davis. Margin back to 26. Gaze fouled. Atkinson pulls up. Shot missed. Rebounded by Davis. On the break is Crawford. Can he get past? He got past Smythe but couldn't get the basket. Now North on the break again. Boy, you have to be quick inside, and it's a big dunk from Everett. 20 points in the game for Everett. That was made by Phil Smythe. A marvelous pass to Smythe. Everett finishes it off with a one-hand slam. Tempo picking up a little bit for the North team. They're back within 14. And with these sorts of stars out there, when it, the momentum gets up, they can really pile up a lot of points quickly. Mark Davis, another brilliant shot. Yeah, it's over the top of Atkinson who fouled him. And so Mark Davis now with a chance for a three-point play. 91-75, South team by 91, and we're halfway through the third period. <laughs> Whoa, keep looking at the score. I mean, in the normal regular season, you can win a game with 91. Well, it's interesting to look at the net. They have, they have the most bedraggled look. They've really had a good exercise in this game. Mark Davis career stats and uh, 1989 stats just about the same showing his great consistency he's got 20 points in the game so he and Crawford both in the 20 point category Atkinson up over the top of McDaniels he's very athletic well, the North, aggressive. North team really is picking up momentum they're playing with a lot more I think precision a bit more uh, Objectivity out there. Davis inside misses that one, nearly gets it back. It's tipped away by Leroy Logan. Davis, as he did last year in the All Star game, quietly compiling his statistics as the two North coaches look on. Cole and Lindstrom. I think the half time patching address, a plot. Yeah, the half time address from Ken Cole probably burnt the paint off in the rooms. But it's had the effect because North are right back in this. Fisher working on Gaze. That's a charge. Yes, Gaze had defensive ground. He was there and Fisher charge. We look at this, look at where the contact is, right straight and up, up straight down the body of Andrew Gaze, and that's a sure sign that there's a charging foul has occurred. Bill, while all of this uh, activity has been going on, North are getting this margin down. It's, I mean, it's still comprehensive, but from 26 back to 15, and seven minutes left in this third period. This could go right through. Well, it is. If they can keep it under about 15 in the last quarter, there, there is the firepower out there, of course, to... Uh, reverse the totals. Well, I've got the money man, Leroy, there, who's been very quiet but from a scoring point of view. One point to Leroy. I mean, he averages 26-27. There's a big shot that time from Andrew Gaze. It's a three-pointer. He becomes the game high scorer with 24. The margin is 12. Listen to the crowd and North right in this. McDaniel inside, guarded by Kreit. Ball nearly comes loose. It rolls out to Ellis, who flips it off to Mackay behind the three-point line. It goes down. That was a good steadying basket by Mike Mackay. Ten points in the game of Mackay. They needed that, I thought. Loggins still can't find the basket. Kreit can't clean up. Hustles after the ball. Who says these guys are just going through the motions out there? Nobody that I know of. <laughs> Atkinson. Where does he go? Lurdy fakes. Still can't buy the basket. Loggins this time. He's open. He's got to hit one shortly. Every Atkinson with a tip over the top. So North now bring it back. 95 to the Master South team. 82 to the Aussie Tape North team. Leroy Loggins picks up a foul on that. He tried to go past the one thing you pulled him back. Loggins' his first foul. The third team foul on the Aussie Tapes North team. So both teams have three fouls, neither one in the penalty situation. That fourth team foul, of course, brings up that penalty situation. For North, Keo in, Smythe off. Foul on Winston Kreit. Heavy block in there, too, before on Gaze. Boy, he gets some punishment. Ken Cole pensively looks on. I think he builds up his leg strength from having to get up off the floor so often. Been picked up by Fisher. Guarding Fisher, he's yeah. laying some body on him. <laughs> Fade away by Fisher, tucks it in. 97-82, marching back to 15. North on the break. Nice moves by Gaze. Leroy, he's got to get into it shooting-wise. That's better. No shot and missed and rebound. A strong one by Fisher. Ellis probing down the middle. Dishes off to Davis. One of his strong moves inside. Tells Emery Atkinson to get out of the way. Mark Davis with 22. 
he certainly has stabilized the North team in this half. He's got eight points in this quarter. Gaze, he's got to be the focal man for the North team. Davis steps out behind the screen and bodies up Andrew Gaze. Draws the foul. Fourth team foul to South team. Subs being made now for both teams. Bolden and Joyce coming in for the South. Going out, Mackay and Davis. And for the North team, Johnson and Taylor in and out. We'll have to wait and see, sitting down there behind uh, the coach. Taylor coming in and out goes Atkinson and Loggins. So new personnel. Let's see what can happen. 99-82, South team by 17. 99 points. Five minutes 33 left. Taylor, shot has not gone in. Well, instantly into action, Norman Taylor off the bench. As he does so well, that was back to the basket moves. Andrew Gaze picks him out with a good, good pass. There he is spinning back to the inside. Chris Bolden just uh, thawing him out of the way a little bit. It's a shooting foul. Taylor hits his first one. But Taylor now with 11 points. There's gonna be a lot of players in this game in double figures. Going to be some hard competitions in it too to pick the MVP and also the dunk of the match. Yes. Anyway, you'd have to say Crawford was the outstanding player in the second half, but uh, he's uh, been relatively quiet. Andrew Gaze wins both, I think, for the North team so far. And uh, you're right, it will be very, very difficult. That's Mike Ellis. Can't buy. Yes, he does buy the three pointer. <laughs> Had a good look. 5 12 left before three quarter time. Johnson and Keogh in the backcourt for the North team. This is Christ. Shot. Ten timeout. points in the game for Kreit. We, we see a timeout if we go through the score sheets for double figures. We'll come back to that score sheet after the break with the South team leading 102 to North 86. No two to 86. North South team leading. North team pressing up. There's the double team. Surprise tactic, obviously, uh, wanting to shake the ball loose with six with uh, 16 point difference out there. They just get it over just with one second to spare uh, on that 10 second uh, countdown from the time the ball comes in. Joyce into the lineup for the South team. He's guarded by Michael Johnson. Intensity a little bit higher now for the North team defensively. But that can be broken very quickly by one great athletic play. Is McDaniel's the man? Yes, he is. Over the top of Taylor and Crite. That was a tough basket. Look, double teams right up over the top. Both teams now with five players in double figures. And push. Don't push was the call. Daniels. Across. Crite. Yes, North team right back. 104 to 104 points already to the South team to 88. So the margin is 16. Dish off this time. Shot is in from McDaniel. Mike Ellis. As usual, picks up the assist. Michael Johnson dishes out the gaze, passes up a three-pointer back to Johnson. Ball spills out of bounds off Bruce Bolden, so they'll get it back with 22 seconds on the shot clock. Let's go. Blue through. And four minutes on the game clock in this third period left. Right with the ball. He's guarded by Bolden. Andrew Gaze gets them all up in the air, but he's got nowhere to go himself. Crowd giving a very smart hand clap. Foul in time that time by Norman Taylor. He was fouled. So North keeps possession of the ball. There's a lot pass into Taylor. Good pass again. And by this time by Damien Tate. Damien Keogh Taylor with 11 points in the game. So 16 the difference still. Crawford. No basket. He's called the charge foul. The contact on the charge, the offensive foul occurred before the ball was out of Crawford's hand. Let's look at Taylor sets himself. There's the contact, then the ball comes out of his hand. So no basket. Great move to look at though, Graham. Sure was. For the South team, Mike Ellis to the bench, replaced by Shane Hill. Both teams now in the penalty situation. We'll see those common non-shooting fouls that aren't offensive fouls. We'll see the one-on-one. -on -one. Backdoor play, great pass from Pio to Gaze. A little of the Australian national team magic there. Gaze 26, high score for the game. Good play by Tyler. Slapped it away. Good defense from Tyler on McDaniel. Well, North is looking better. 
but South, every time they look a little bit in shape, yeah, they come back and hit a couple of crucial baskets. Wayne McDaniels has been a focal point this time. It's pitched away. Bit of a scramble there. It'll come off Shane Heal. Quickly inbound by Keel. Gaze behind the three-point line. That's right down the middle. Oh, swish from Andrew Gaze. Boy, does that lift the North crowd in this uh, stadium. 106 to 95, margin 11. It'd be great if they can get it to single figures. Crawford going for it, but being sweated on by Winston Wright. He was wearing him like a glove. He was right over the top of him the whole way like an umbrella. Watch this. He times. He's up there. Where are you going to put the ball, Jade? <laughs> Unfortunately for him, anyway, the foul was down there in the basement on Winston Wright. So Crawford, a shooting foul, will get two foul shots. Crawford with 22 points. Like that 23. All those 22 points came in the first half. James Crawford, what a marvelous career he's had. Again, excellent shooting percentage, excellent scoring, both in career and this year. Taylor, the crowd, I think, behind the North team. They want to yes. see a close game, only 12 points of difference. Andrew Gaze has that blocked by Crawford. Comes loose to fit. Michael Johnson can't find it. The ball was partially blocked from behind by uh, Shane Heal. It's definitely more intensity in the North team. The players and the crowd. Oh, Crawford from behind the basket. That'll be a jump ball. No basket. Bolden says, I'd like to have it, but I think the call for jump ball had been made before the shot. They both had a piece of it on the rebound. They had a piece of it for quite a long time, too, so the referees had to call it. They weren't to know that Bolton was going to get out last minute. Bruce Palmer with a smile. A wry smile. Yeah. Coaches don't smile. No. Okay, let's We're not in regular season anyway. Well, maybe they smile in all-star games. I'll give you that. Bolden he wins that one easy, but Keel pinches it. Keel and Joyce going hammers and tongs. Joyce saves it. Good play by Brendan Joyce. North picking up a lot more, showing a lot more aggression on defense. McDaniel. Rebound by North. They're doing better on the boards now, Bill. They're asserting themselves all over the court much better than they did in the first half. Michael Johnson with a leaping leaner rebounds it himself the second shot was tougher than the first shot but he puts it down he was calling for the foul but it wasn't called the margin is 10 107 to 97 a minute 50 left in this third period it's being set up for a super finish remember in the inaugural all-star game last year north had a comfortable win south now have done it right from the start i don't think north have ever been in front no maybe the first basket or so they certainly haven't last year we saw somewhat similar game because the North team was probably in the South position. In the end, the North team only won by five points, 127 to 122. Wayne McDaniels, I mean, these career stats are mind-boggling that you see when you're looking at the best of the NBL. All the big guys out there, too, with 26, 28 points per game in their career, also all shooting over 50%. Wayne McDaniel down with the Hobart Tassie Devils this year for the first time. Great career. 109.97, south by 12. Kreit takes a long yep. jump shot, missed. That never looked likely out of the hand. And again, north of last few times down and passed the ball around, but again, that one pass shot. Smythe steals the ball, nearly has it stolen back from him, but uh, north swings into attack. That's Andrew Gay, somebody better pick him up. Johnson, pump fake, gets Crawford in the air, can't find it. Ball comes loose to Winston Kreit, flipper, and down. Boy, that was tough. One minute and nine seconds to go in this third period, and a hole. Intentional foul called on Shane Heal. So the penalty for an intentional foul is two shots and possession. North right back in this, only trailing by 10. One stage, I think, early in the second period, the margin was around 25, 26 points. So two shots plus possession, no rebounders, everyone back behind the line. <laughs> Phil Smythe tossing the ball up there just to get the net down. He probably wants it back because it went chance. straight through. <laughs> yeah, right. First one counts. <laughs> yeah, count it. We get a chance. I don't think Phil Smythe is the man out there to bring down these nets. I oh. like. And one He's of the a hero. players on the court gets up and fixes the net himself. Well, <laughs> He's shooting two shots on the intentional foul. We saw him hit, miss, oh, he wants that first one back. He hit one trying to put the net down. Betty <laughs> Crouch says line. try underarm. The first one was to get the net down. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the players thought that one counted. All right, this is the second of two. 
for Phil Smythe. He's about a 77, 78% free throw shooter all time and made one for two on that trip to the charity strike. Well, we've got a ball game now, 109-100. First time for most of the game it's been under double figures. See the crowd really wrapped in this contest. Andrew Gaze, that was not a good shot. Under a lot of pressure for Brendan Joyce. Joyce puts it off to Crawford. Crawford just sees it at the last second. Nearly dishes the heel. Quick hands by Phil Smy saves a sure two basket from Sh a sure two points from Shane Hill. 47 seconds left in this third period. Time for a couple more plays. McDaniel all the way. Oh. Tossed that away. It's goal tending. Goal tending on Winston Price. Huge block away, but I think the ball was just on its way down. Yes, and it reached its apex. That's the one. Smythe fishing off the gaze. Unguarded. No, that's right in the middle, and he's unguarded. I was going to say, the South team looking around at each other. Who was supposed to guard Andrew Gaze? 32 points in the game. He'll get those every day from out there. Crawford working hard. Foul. No, no call. Taylor, now the North team with a chance. 18 seconds left. Will they hold up for one last shot? No. Johnson takes it. Now they have another one. Right inside. Missed it. Johnson, a tip in rebound. The margin is back to six points. What a huge quarter by the Aussie Tapes North team. Brendan Joyce, long shot and there's the Hooter for three-quarter time. The Mazda South team, 111. The Aussie Tape North team after a great third period, 105. So the start of start the fourth quarter now. Six points the difference. Money time now. Fisher with the ball. South with a six-point lead. North fought bound tremendously in that quarter. Scored 45 points in the third quarter. Thanks to 15 from Andrew Gay. Davis inside. Strong baseline move from the chairman. 24 points in the match. Five. Fishing off the Loggins, inside that time to Jerry Everett. No basket there, North facing Loggins, can't buy a basket again. Atkinson has it swatted away by Crawford. South team with their, with their tails up at the moment. Comes off Scott Fisher, North gets another opportunity. Inbound to Smythe. Smythe waiting for his players on the Aussie Tape North team to get set. For Leverett, that's Loggins inside. Crawford, that's a goal tip. Yeah, ball definitely coming down then when it was blocked by James Crawford. 113 to 107. Watch, watch the flag. You can see it come up over the top, was on the way down for Loggins. That's only his third point in the game. For Crawford, that's about his fourth goal tip. Mackay over the top of Smythe. Davis tried to rebound over the top of Atkinson but couldn't find the handle on the board. The chairman of the board's playing a fantastic game as he did in last year's All-Star game when he came perilously close to unseating Leroy Loggins as the game MVP. This is Everett, the Newcastle guard, working hard on Carroll. Shot is missed. No, it's in. It's in to Jerry Everett. No hands to touch it, so Everett will get credited. Davis! It's tip in though by... Davis or Crawford, both Crawford. had a hand on it. Crawford gets the points. Atkinson, ball stripped away. Now goes south on a break. Fisher, he'll work hard. And he does. Foul on Loggins, no basket. 115 to 109, south by six. Seems like every time the game gets into a real up-tempo game, that's when South starts to do particularly well. And they've shown a little bit more patience in our team. They've really shown what they could do. Six points of difference again. That was the margin at three-quarter time. Fisher brings up his 15th point. Been having a great year. Also been getting 12 rebounds per game to go with his 35 points per game this year. Over 10 minutes remaining to play in this enthralling last quarter. Andrew Gaze, double team. Fisher bodies him up. The dish to Smythe. Floats in, can't find it. Davis with another rebound. Carroll shuffling it to Crawford. That was a slam. 
27, the quick springs of Crawford. Meanwhile, at the other end, we see a foul. Wayne Carroll fouling Andrew Gaze. No, it's Scott Fisher, Fisher had the call. Wayne Carroll was complaining for Fisher. I think for Fisher, that's his third. Atkinson inside, over the top of Crawford. Oh, and a slam tip missed that time by Jerry Everett. Fisher, he loves that spot. Yes. Fisher now with 19 points. All of the players getting onto the sheet. 121 already to the south team. Everett, yes, lovely move from the guard. Went baseline on Mackay. Margin back to 10. South have the lead. Make that, no, still 10. Shot missed from Carroll. Right now, working the ball forward. Loggins behind the three-point line. Still can't find an outside shot. South takes the ball out of bounds. Wayne Carroll got a fingertip to that, so a, a slight reprieve for the North team. Leroy Loggins in the shooting horse at the moment. He'll keep trying, though. That's a left-hand leader. That was probably the toughest shot he's taken all night, and that one goes down. And that's his trademark shot, isn't it? Now he does a steal at the other end, Leroy. The money man comes good. What does he do? Pull up and take the shot. It's missed, and another big rebound by Davis, who went over the baseline. Well, that was a missed opportunity from North. They certainly had a numerical advantage on that. One more pass, I think, by any one of those guys would have seen a much easier shot. Ken Cole, Chris Palmer. The coaches are rather intense. Fisher with the ball. Dishes to Mike McKay. That's a two-pointer. Put on the line. Wayne Carroll off. Ellis back on. Smythe oh, takes the shot. Yes, that's a two-pointer. He was just inside the line. The scoring tempo, Bill, is unbelievable. And the defensive intensity is a lot higher, too. Players bodying up all over. Andrew Gay steals the ball from Fisher. Rebounds to Davis inside, flips it off. Ball came off Crawford. Don't forget it from the side. Well, we see a free attempt to get a breath here, Graham, but the South has worn this damage from North very well and managed to push out the lead to eight points. And mind you, at the end of the third quarter, it was six. Loggins misses another one. Gaze. Loggins will hit that. Yes, good assist pass from Gaze. Atkinson's gone to the bench for the North team. And the former Phoenix Sun NBA player, now with the Bullets, Winston Wright has come on. Can't Crawford, him. how does he get through? Leroy, you bashed him first. He's Leroy, Leroy, you bashed him first. Him on the way up. I thought Smythe that might have drawn the foul. The and then we see it on replay here. There's the push, and then there's the charge. So the foul did occur in the, in the order that the referee signed. The push in the back by Leroy on James Crawford. Then Crawford spilled into Smythe. 28 points per game for Leroy. Over 200 games. Unbelievable scoring. And probably no one has thrilled crowds with his acrobatic dunking in stadiums all around Australia more than this player, James Crawford. There'll be no one that gets as many slam dunks in a year than James Crawford. We don't keep a stand on that, maybe we should. Crawford makes them both for 29 big points. Goes to the bench for a small rest. Replaced back in the game on the South team by Wayne McDaniel. And David Keogh getting ready to come on for the North team. Time. Just under eight minutes left. Loggins a long shot. Still can't get a long basket. South on the break. Who's that out there? That's Mackay. Missed. Rebound by McDaniel. Jerry Everett stuck his nose in there where it shouldn't be. Hold. Two. The house called on him. Loggins goes to the bench. Obviously slightly disappointed with his, his shooting. He had shots. They usually drop for Leroy. They didn't drop for him in this game. We see a lot of substitutions coming in for the North team. Jerry Everett fouled out. Five fouls on Jerry Everett. So that's a little bit of shooting power lost now by the North team. And on the line is Wayne McDaniel to shoot two for the South team. I would think that the North team has got to start looking to Andrew Gaze. He's got 33 points up at three-quarter time. He only had two at the end of the first quarter, so the bulk coming in the second, third quarter. He's going to hit a three, couple of three-pointers to get them back in here. Well, chance for North. McDaniel missed both the free shots. Yeah, that's Michael Johnson, another very good three-point shooter in the lineup. 
They don't need three-point shots, but they're sure handy at this stage in the game. Smythe working on Ellis. Good defense by the South team. Keel give and go play. Keel was shooting that ball before he got it. Rebounds to Pride. He puts it up. He can't find it. North has gone cold again. Look at the big pass down to Fisher too. Fisher dishes back to McDaniel, who has the ball stripped away by Keo. North on the roll again. Johnson inside. Price back to the basket move. Missed. Does he get the rebound? Yes. And this time the basket to the big fellow with some power under the ring. 15 points to Winston Price. The One defense 20. is really tough at the moment. Body to body. Keo again tries the same defensive maneuver on McDaniel to strip the ball away. Got a bit of arm this time as McDaniel was going up for the three, shot. Three, two. We see Amir Keo working for position. Can't see the foul, but you certainly can see the reaction to the foul. <coughs> Timeout called at the Glass House. The South team leads the North team by six points. 125 to 119. Back soon. Fouled in the act of shooting. Last trip to the line, he missed two foul shots in a row. That's three now in a row. This is bound to go in. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You, wouldn't, you wouldn't see Wayne McDaniels miss more foul shots in a row very often. Fight with the ball now. Gaze guarded by Fisher. They've had an interesting battle in this game when they've matched up on each other. Right at the high post. Looking for targets. Fisher bodies him up. Wright leans inside in a count, and Fisher fouled him from the side. Well, Scott Fisher, that is his fourth personal foul. Good move, though, from the big Winston Pride. Only four points of difference, man. You really would have written off your team at halftime. Well, one stage in the second period, 26 points down. They were down at every change. 15 at quarter time, 18 at half time, 6 at three quarter time, now three. 18 points to Winston Craig. Everyone's getting in the scoring act. This is McDaniel, he's been handy too. That one is in. To make amends for missing those foul shots. 20 points to McDaniels. A slight height mismatch with Keo. Keo trying to use his speed to stop the pass getting into McDaniel. Was unsuccessful that time. Gaze on Fisher. Now it's Pride again, working on Davis, takes the jump shot, yes, North team love it, the margin is three points, South 127, North 124, Ken Cole now happy on the sideline, and a foul by Kreitz, bringing the ball up was uh, Mark Davis, Great by Craig there, he's happier on the sideline, <laughs> happy, see uh, Davis all over, Kreitz taking that foul, Knowing he had no chance, no position to stop Davis. So Price picks up another foul. That's his third. And Mark Davis goes to the line shooting two shots. Mark Davis, if you look at his all-time scoring, way up there, the best of the best. This year, 25 points per game, all-time 26 points per game, second all-time rebounds per game, shooting percentage over 50%. Davis has done it all. McDaniel does it then. And he has 22 big points. Andrew Gaze alone from the three-point line doesn't buy it this time. North Peak looking a little bit wobbly again. Wayne McDaniels has been real responsible for shaking things up, but there's a turnover. North blowing back into attack. Five and a half minutes ago, three-pointer for Mike Johnson. Can't buy it. No rebounders though. The last two times down, both three-point shots have missed, and South have got the rebound. Bruce Palmer calls a quick timeout for the South team. The margin is 6, 130 to north, 124. And we'll see the situation here as the South team meanders back onto the floor. Here's Palmer be telling them, I think, to value their use of the ball a little bit as Mark Davis inbounds to Mike Ellis. Davis at the top long way away from the basket from him, but he's bringing Winston Price away from the basket. There's the play, setting up Wayne McDaniels. Davis can't quite save it. Good hustle by the big man. Spike inbounding quickly. Gage lobs. Oh! Whoa! Winston Price nearly pulled the ring down. That was a well 
tremendously <laughs> timed pass and Fright climbed up there perfectly executed alley oop pass. North hustling. This is McDaniel again. He's been good in this last quarter. Shot is missed. Rebound by Bolden. Lost it. Foul oh, oh, by Keogh. And the North team's in the penalty situation. So Bolden will go to the line shooting one and one. You see the loose rebound. There's Bolden with the ball. Keogh coming in from the side, collecting him on the wrist. As he knocked the ball away. Four points of difference. South team obviously under instructions to get the ball into McDaniel to try and take advantage of a height mismatch. Fright with the ball. He's had a sensational second half. Four minutes 40 left in the match. The margin is four points to the South team. Five handing off the game's three-pointer. It's down. Margin is one point. North have come back from the dead. Andrew Gaze brings up his 36 point, his first points in this quarter. They were timely. One point the difference now. McDaniels fouled by Keel. And we see the strategy from Bruce Palmer again. Three. Keel size mismatch there. Two. See Keel, McDaniels using his strength to go up. Keel trying quickness to slap the ball out of his hand. McDaniels hand can't buy it. McDaniels been a little bit wobbly from the foul line in this game, but gets two shots here. Yes, missed his last four, but that's a good sider for him. Daniel's been very effective, especially in the second half. Good court time. Again, look at the, the scoring. 28 points per game career at over 50%. South the rebound. Carroll, inside three points. Missed and a rebound by McDaniel. Missed. Tip in by Bolden. South needed that for a steady up. They certainly did, and they really worked over the North team on the boards that time. Four minutes remaining to play in the game. Six points back to different, that magical margin. Gaze behind the three-point line, stops, pop, misses it. There's a good battle for the rebound. Who gets it? North team will come out of that. Gaze again, spinning, looking, right over the top, that's short. And Mark Davis can't save it for the South team. Players really hustling down there. Trying to keep the ball in play, get it back to teammates, roll back over half court. Gaze will inbound from the side, substitution made Atkinson. The acrobatic Atkinson back in, Keo to the bench. So the matchup now on McDaniel is a little better. Crawford, Less of a mismatch. Crawford but lining up on Gaze. Obviously he'll be leaping at Andrew when he tries to shoot those three pointers. Gaze takes him to the hoop. Everywhere, nearly a block by somebody, but the South team foul. Let's wait for it. Seven. No way, no. It's a push. No, no way. Two. It's a push. Two shots. You see the guy pushing on Gaze. There's a body push downstairs on James Crawford. Gaze spills into the station. That would be a shooting foul. He takes and hits him onto the floor in a match. Two. Gaze, the game leading scorer with 36. Brilliant in the second and third quarters. Coming along quarter when they need 37 in the game. Bill, for someone that's averaged 35 points a game, every game, he has shot all time 53% from the field. There's no one better at it. Gaze with 38 points. North trail by two. He's not getting much of a rest. The forward pass to Davis. Atkinson with a spectacular block at the goal can. So Mark Davis brings up his 27th point. And it's going to be difficult to name a master MVP in this game. Good, if you pick, it's out of five or six. South by four. Gaze again. He's the money man for them. Dishes out. Back in Atkinson. Smile. Quick passing now from the North team. A scream has been set inside. Smile gets the ball into Michael Johnson and the margin back to two. The Three roof will come go. off if North get in front, I tell you. Three minutes to go. Smythe nearly shakes it free. Plenty of time. Three on two. Ellis can't buy it. Who gets it? Winston Wright. He's played up big, massive second half. Gaze with the ball. The crowd alive. Gaze dishes off to Johnson. Good passing by the North team. Smythe can't finish it off. Smythe gets it back and dishes it into Gaze. Spectacular Phil Smythe. Scores are level. I hope you can hear because the crowd is so loud but scores are level with 2 minutes 25 to go. What a finish. Unbelievable match. 
Ellis with the ball, drives to the basket. Everybody's jumping on everybody else. <laughs> Who gets the foul? You can have a raffle. Let's see if we can pick it on the replay. Ellis screaming by Johnson. Right. Maybe Johnson didn't pick up the call. Winston Pride. He looks guilty. Foul, I think. <laughs> No, it's been called on Michael Johnson. He gets his first personal foul. And Mike Ellis, who was among some big timber in there, on the line. It's been a great player, Mike Ellis. Captain to Perth Wildcats since they came into the league. An ornament to the game. And picks up his seventh point. South back by two, but North were 26 points down just before half time and got it back to level. Huge Mike performance from them. Mike with the ball. That's Andrew Gaze. Can he be a hero again? Oh, that nearly goes in. He'll get the rebound. Buys it again. Three pointer. Middle of the front to North team. North have hit the front for the first time in the match. North 138, South 137. A minute 50 left. This is Ellis. He'll look for the assist. Yes, he does. Crawford loses it. Out. No oh, in. North have the ball. This will go to Clyde. Third dunk. Yes. North are finishing all over the top. Will. Three point lead. This was a powerful slam dunk. South calls a timeout. One minute and 29 seconds remaining to play. The South team is three points in arrears. Score 140 to 137. Let's recap. At half time, sorry, at three quarter time, South had a pretty shaky six point lead. Then North got down to level. South got back in front, but the last, say, minute, minute and a half, it's been all the North team. Certainly has, and it's been keyed by some good defense. They've picked up the loose balls. They seem to be going in just that little bit harder when the ball's loose on the floor. And some spectacular shooting from Andrew Gaze and Winston Price, who have done it. Gaze 10 points in the quarter. We were looking at him. He hadn't scored at all for the first half of the last quarter. Now has 10 points. Price also picked up nine points in this quarter. So they've been the heroes as they're coming down to the final wire. Let's have a look now at Winston. Winston Crite on the break, flick pass, and here he goes. Bang, good night. Good night. <laughs> Glad there was no one under the basket. I think his alley oop dunk was a little bit better yeah. than we saw in the third quarter. We still have Atkinson and Crawford. There's three really wonderful slam dunks, and it'll be interesting to see who gets named and picks up the 500 bucks for the slam of the game. 129 left. 137 to the south, trailing the north 140. Now listen to the crowd. I think they've swung around, Bill, to the north. They've got a lot of supporters out there. Everybody wants to see a close game in an all-star game. You couldn't ask for anything better. Ellis, he's safe with the ball. Fisher, mismatch on Spice. Spice fouls it. It wasn't a shooting foul. Let's look at it. Two shots, it was a shooting foul. Must have just been bringing the ball up. There's the height mismatch. Fisher, you can Ooh. see, there's the hack. Just as he started his shooting action, so he hit two foul shots. Normally a very good foul shooter. Yes, it wobbled, but it went in. Scott Fisher now with 20 points. South need this to get back to one. One behind, that is. What a game. Huge crowd at the glass house. They have loved this. Oh, boy. My voice isn't liking it very much at this stage, but I think we can last out the last minute and 10 seconds. Gaze with the ball, Crawford's lost on the pick. Atkinson set it up again. North has been much more deliberate than this has. That's Pride, Bolden guarding it. Pride sweeping to the basket, can't find it. Fisher now, the South team has a chance to take the lead. Under a minute to go. Ellis fishing to Bolden. Back to Ellis, there's Bolden alone. He's pumped from there and he hits it, and there is punch by one. South lead 141 to 140. Gaze. Oh, Gaze. that, but he pushed him. That ball wasn't going anywhere, said James Cooper. Crawford, acrobatic. Let's have a look at this. This is what you call umbrella defense. <laughs> you can see the body pushing. Andrew Gaze goes to line. Duty two after he picks it.
lead South by Buffalo for yet again. South lead by one. South 141. North 140. There is 38 seconds left to go in the match. And Andrew Gaze with 46 points now. He had 17 at half time. 49 points. No, 46. I can't read my writing. What is it? 44. 44 points. Game tied, 141 apiece. And it still remains tied. 36 seconds remaining, so the South team will have to take a shot. And we have a timeout. And there will be some strategy here. So, scores level. 33 seconds left. Timeout in the 1989 Styles match. Boy, what do the coaches say now? They must keep it simple, Bill. Keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> say it loud. Well, they're gonna set up a play. There is no doubt that Bruce Palmer will be setting a specific play. There's 23 seconds remaining to play in the game. There's 25 seconds on the shot clock. They want to run a fair bit off that shot clock, but no matter what they do, North will get another shot in this game. Let's see if we can pick up some secrets here. Hit home. A group therapy session. Hey, we get the rebound. Cody needs five couches there. Listen, when we get the ball down here, I want you to throw the ball, just move the ball around, throw the ball to Andrew with six seconds, seven seconds to play. And every one throw it to him. the ball to Andrew. Go for the rebound. That's a very simple offense. Throw the ball to Andrew, and Andrew, you shoot. It's your turn, Andrew. But I have a feeling that North uh, South Coach Bruce Palmer might, might be aware of that too. Yeah. His instruction was when they throw the ball, Andrew, I want three people on him. Yeah. Knowing it and stopping it are two different things, Graham. 33 seconds left in this match. At one stage, North were down the barrel by 26 points. 25 seconds on the shot clock. Bruce Palmer will want to take a piece of that out before they get the shot off. All-star team, they're spreading the Spreading it this side. Plenty of green pastures out there. Ellis controlling the ball, picked up by Smythe. A true number at this stage would be crucial. There's the 10 second warning buzzer. Eight seconds to shoot now. Who's going to do it? Ellis, Fisher, double team. Can't fight. Davis. Ball rebound to McDaniels. Seven seconds to score. This could be the winning basket if it goes. Fisher. Yeah! Fisher, a timeout called with one second, 1.4 seconds. You'll never see a bigger clutch basket than that ever. And there's a statement. Scott Fisher has hit a miracle basket. There is 1.4 seconds left. South got the ball, got it to Fisher. Unbelievable shot. Double team, hands in his face. Watch Feet this. In his face, everything in his face. He kept his eye on the basket. Watch Look at that. Floaters, nothing but net. And does he like oh, it? He likes stuff like that. <laughs> Scott Fisher. How many points in the game for Fisher now? 22. 22, but none will be more important than that. South lead by two. And we have 1.4 seconds left. That's Dave Lindstrom, the North assistant coach, head coach of the Illawarra Club. Tim Cole's probably lost his voice. They're going to put it in Utah. I suspect he's going to throw it the length of the floor pass. The clock does not start until it's touched in bounds. So there's time for one pass and a shot if North get it. Let's see, now they're putting Utah at the other end. They're going to hope for a foul. They try to throw the pass to Utah. He'll either try and tip it in on the fly or find somebody to tip to. It'll be Utah versus McDaniels at the other end, and that's where it's going to happen. Here it goes, the big pass. Who gets it? No, South will win. There it is. South have won. South have won the All-Stars match for 1989 by two points. Final scoreline, 143 to 141.
team, but a great match by the MVP, Andrew Gaze. It was a tremendous game by Andrew Gaze in a losing cause, 44 points, 42 of which came in the last three quarters. It was his work in the second and third quarters that stopped the avalanche and gave North the power and the surge to come back and make it a close game. So Andrew Gaze wins the MVP. Now let's have a look at the two winners of the slam of the match. The first we will look at will be James Crawford. He goes coast to coast. Coast to coast and watch this stretch as he jumps right over the top of Damien Keel. Just wondered what went over the top of him. And the other one was Emery Atkinson. Some good passing here by the North team. Emery comes into the picture. You can see he went right over the top of Shane Heal and slammed it down. And they shared the uh, Mazda slam of the game. That's $250 to those players. Well, Bill, it was a great game. Uh, North won the first one last year. South, it's now won all. A lot of rivalry, a lot of tradition. It certainly is going to be a feature of the, of the calendar, isn't it? It is a feature of the calendar. It'll be very interesting bidding to, bidding to see which city gets this <laughs> all-star game next year. OK, so the final scoreline from the Glass House. The South beating the North by two points, 143 to 141. Hope you've enjoyed the telecast. We'll see you with more basketball at the same time next week. <laughs> I'm the one, I'm the one, I'm the one.